You're probably watching this video because you just reinstalled Windows. Now, one of the first things that I install is a VPN because you know, all the ISPs out there, they keep a log of everything you do. But if you're using a VPN, all they see is raw data. Now, if they're also trying to throttle something, like sometimes they'll slow down YouTube or whatever, they don't know you're watching YouTube anymore. So it can sometimes speed up uh, your internet traffic. Now we use private internet access here. So I'm gonna recommend installing that first. We have a link in the description. We get a couple pennies every time you guys sign up. Uh, I found it to be the fastest with the most servers in good locations and also the best price. It's just a couple bucks a month, like it's a cup of coffee a month. So go ahead and grab that and then get started. Now let's see what I install first with Windows. All right, so we're in Windows and I've done a couple of things already. First thing I always do is come and personalize, change my display settings, get a new wallpaper going on there. It drives me insane if it uh, has that ugly whatever. Change my lock screen as well. Then I come and change my colors a little bit, and then I mess with my taskbar. I like to use the small buttons. The big ones are just a little bit too bubbly for my taste. And uh, you guys can set this up any way you like. doesn't matter. It's all up to you, but I do that. And then I right-click on the taskbar, and I hide the search, and I hide Cortana as well. So all that's not going to be there to bother me. Next up, we got to install some stuff, but we just have Microsoft Edge. I've already installed some stuff, but I'll show you. So the first place I go is Ninite. And Ninite allows you to grab one package with a whole bunch of programs. Don't ask me to change, all right. So I'm going to grab Chrome and Firefox. And then now you guys can grab whatever you like here. As far as compression goes, 7-Zip is the best. I grab uh, Discord. It's pretty much all I need. I like VLC, but I also like the K-Lite codec pack uh, with Media Player Classic. I end up using both of these. Also, I use FUBAR, but I'll install that on my own because I do a different type of installation. Notepad++, FileZilla. Don't really need PuTTY anymore because you can use some Win or some uh, some Linux stuff for the terminal right here in Windows, so I'm not going to need that right now. The newest version of GIMP is not bad. Maybe you want Paint.net depending on what you're going to do. I'm not going to be using that much, but you know. Foxy Reader is pretty good for PDF. I'll be installing Adobe stuff, but if you're not installing Adobe stuff, Qt PDF may be a little faster than Foxit now. Uh, the built-in Microsoft Antivirus is pretty good now. If you guys want some more stuff, Malwarebytes is not bad, but I find it to be a little annoying and invasive, and I generally find that the best practice is just staying away from crappy websites with a gazillion invasive ads. And I also use an ad blocking program that I'll show you in just a second. Uh, Steam is something else I download separately because I put it on my D drive, not my C drive, but you guys can grab it here if you like as well. And then whatever else. When you hit get your Ninite, it gives you one program, and when you run it, it will set up each of these programs one after the other. So that's all it's going to do. Really easy. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some really helpful um, things that you can do to make Windows better. Just, you know, the actual Windows. But first, I'm going to show you the rest of the programs that I install when I first turn on Windows. So OO Shut Up 10 is a, it's an anti-spyware tool uh, for Microsoft Windows 10. It goes through and lets you turn off a lot of the evasive garbage that's going on. So you guys can go through. It's very granular. This is not a video on... Uh, exactly what all this stuff is. You guys can go through and enable and disable whatever you like. I like to just apply only the recommended settings. Yes. It creates a restore point, and then once that's done, you're good to go. If you guys want more information, I recommend that you Google and see everything that this does. The recommended settings are gonna be most uh, mostly enough for everybody else. Back to the programs. Fubar. This is probably the first thing I install, the, the music program. Um, I install it and I do the portable version because I have all my configuration files and stuff elsewhere. And then once it's done, it kind of looks like this. Yay, music. Gotta have music. I have two different versions of that. I've got a vertical version and a horizontal version, depending on what monitor I have it on. And then I've got Open Broadcaster. Yay, that's what I'm using now to record this. I grab the uh, Unreal Engine so we can work on the video game. And uh, that's gonna be for working on the video game. And also for working on the video game, FL Studio is what I use to, um, to create the music. Next up, Got to play my games. Don't just want to make games. We want to play games. So we do God Galaxy first. Uh, the newest version is getting really nice. Like Universal Cloud Saves is awesome. It's becoming as good, if not better, than Steam. And plus, it's DRM free. So I really like it. Steam is a, something else I install, and I install that to my D drive instead of my C drive. Just my own personal preference. If you need um, an Office program, a lot of people recommend Open Office. I find that LibreOffice, the newest version, uh, is a little better. So I use that. 
if I'm not going to be using Microsoft Office. I guess Microsoft Office still has the most compatibility. Otherwise, some people use some online document programs, uh, Google Docs, even Synology has a nice document program. All right, the best uninstaller is Revo Uninstaller because when you uninstall things, it can go in and remove all the extra little remnants, stuff in the app data folder, stuff in the registry, uh, and just anything that's left over, it can get rid of it. So it's a better way to uninstall stuff, and I like to have that installed. As far as torrents go, I use uTorrent 2.2.1. It's an older version, and I love oldversion.com because a lot of times new does not necessarily mean better. A lot of times new means bloated, you know, filled with ads or some nonsense like that, which the new version of uTorrent, uTorrent 3, whatever it is, 4, I don't even know what version they're on. It's not very good. So this one dates all the way back to 2011 and it still downloads very quickly. Um, it just works. Highlight's pretty good if you want something a little more modern, but there's no reason for me to move past this. Okay, before you leave the internet, go over to the store, grab a mouse, grab a keyboard. Don't spill your beer on it, but if you do, it's no big deal. Grab a shirt, whatever. So it's a way to you guys can say thanks to us while also getting some cool stuff in return. All right, now let's mess around with Windows. All right, so the first thing that really bothers me is when I open up my uh, just my file explorer, it brings up quick access. I guess some people like this, but this it does I don't care for it. I always want to go. I always have to open it up, click on this PC. If you just hit your View Options here, go to View, then go to Options. You can easily change that to this PC. Very simple. And then you can come over and check out your view options. I like to show hidden files, folders, and drives. Very important. Hit apply. Now when we open it back up, it's our hard drives. It's so lovely. Next up, pictures. So normally when you open up pictures, it opens up in the, the, the Microsoft Photos. Um, and this is getting quite a bit better. I mean, it's it used to be just a touch interface. It was really difficult to use, kind of annoying. Um, but now it's getting quite a bit better. You can actually navigate properly with the keyboard and everything. But let's say you still want to use the old version, uh, the old picture viewer. Well, it's not when you right click, it's, it doesn't show up under the open with. You can't, even, it's not there. It's not, choose another app. Oh no, it's not there. So it's just gone. You need to go and edit the registry. So I'll show you what you do. Open up Notepad++. That's that program that we downloaded with Nenite earlier. If you've never used it before, it's just like a better version of Notepad uh, with some fancy things in there for people who want to do programming. So open that up and then all of this needs to be copied into a new document. This is all gonna be linked on techsyndicate.com. The link is in the top of the description below the video. So go ahead and uh, add all this into a new document and then we're gonna to wanna to save as. Just save it as whatever, you can it doesn't matter what you call it. And you wanna save this as a registry file. There it is, .reg. This is way easier than dealing with your notepad. Yep, let's do it. There it is. Cool photo viewer. It's gonna ask, hey, do you wanna make changes to the registry? Go ahead and click yes. I already clicked yes earlier. So after that, you can come back in here and right click, open with, choose another app. You're gonna to have to click on more apps, usually. And then look, right there it is, photo viewer. Hey, it's the old photo viewer. Yay. Next up, let's get God mode going. So there's another little string here. Uh, this will be copied on the article on Tech Syndicate. So what you wanna do is you wanna create a new folder on your desktop and then just title it this string. Just paste that string in there, press enter, and it's a new icon. When you double click that, it brings up God mode. Right there it is. And this is just like the better version of your control panel. It's got everything right here, right under your fingertips. So easy to use. Device manager, thank you very much, lovely. Okay, so after all that's said and done, we wanna speed some things up. Uh, you've probably installed a few things, probably messed around a little bit. So let's open up our task manager by pressing Control, Shift, Escape. Hold down Control, Shift, press Escape. So it's gonna show up like this. Click More Details, and then we can look around. You wanna to go to Startup, and you'll see all the different programs that are gonna be starting with Windows. Now you don't need any Adobe stuff. You don't need Discord to start up unless you wanted to. Microsoft OneDrive doesn't have to start up. Uh, if you've installed a bunch of other things like Skype and stuff, you may see those starting with the system. Steam will be here uh, starting with the system. I like to keep as few things uh, open, or I like to open as few things as possible when I first start my system. So I disable most things. You just click on it, hit disable, and there it is. You're good to go. So go through and mess with that that'll help a lot next up i get rid of just whatever i don't want down here unpin unpin on my start menu there's all kinds of junk over here i used to do some um i guess commands inside of uh powershell but no longer i just right click and uninstall uninstall and remove everything because i like to keep the microsoft store 
because I'm finding that I'm needing it for some newer applications. So it's one way to keep the store. One other thing I really like to do is I like to change the location of my downloads folder. By default, this is gonna be on your C drive and I do not want my C drive to get all gunked up. I'll show you a couple of things that we can do to help uh, keep that from happening. So let's go to my D drive and I'm just gonna make a new folder here called downloads. Now I'll need to map this one to here. So D downloads, it's also just really easy to deal with D downloads. So you right click on your downloads folder. This is the one that's under your PC. If you go to, you know, this PC, you'll see downloads up here or you'll see it over here on the side. Downloads, both the same. Right click on it and hit properties. And then we have a location setting here. The location setting, D downloads, whatever you want, wherever you put it, just whatever. And then you can move to the new setting. I guess they want to do it this way. Select it, select folder. And then it's going to just uh, ask you if you want to move all your stuff. Sure, I'll move it all over there. Okay, a lot of stuff in there. If you, you know, if you got too much stuff, it's going to take a while. But there's your new download folder. All right. So now, if you upgraded from an older version of Windows and uh, you're happy with the new version, there's something else we can do to remove a lot of extra gunk on your hard drive, and I'll show you. Hit Start and type Disk Cleanup. There it is, coming up right there on the top. So we open this up and it will let you go in and, you know, you should do this every now and then to remove temp files and just just junk. But down here at the bottom, there's cleanup system files. So you click on that, click your C drive. Now this is a brand new installation of Windows. So this is not gonna to apply to me, but uh, you'll be really happy to know that if you've upgraded from an older version or even if you've done like an update uh, on Windows 10 and it's like the, the, a major update, like the spring update, you'll see a checkbox here for previous version of Windows. And you'll notice that it is gonna be gigs and gigs of stuff, maybe seven to 10, 15 gigs, it'll be huge. And it's on your C drive, just eating up space. Um, you'll also notice on your C drive, sometimes you'll see a Windows and then a Windows.old. That's your old Windows stuff. It's in case you wanna really, you know, go back to your old version. So after you make sure that you're happy with the new version, you can come in and check mark that and hit okay and it'll delete all those files. So that's an easy way to keep your C drive from getting destroyed with all kinds of extra garbage. Right, otherwise, that's about it for the, uh, the first day. Second day is when I actually start really honing it and seeing what else I need to do. Um, but this really gets you started, keeps you locked down. It'll get you going with some good software right off the bat. So let us know what you think in the comments, especially over on techsyndicate.com. Check out the forums. We'll all be there hanging out.